But I just want to show you real quick how to, to install one of these new. This is a Sierra um, engine trim sensor. This is like their brand new model. Mine is uh, 68380P. Works for pretty much all your uh, Yamahas, Evadrude, Johnson, Merc Cruiser, uh, OMC in my case. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. See, it's got all your bolts in it. Um, and you've got a few little items here. Okay, let's go ahead and sit. And look at this here. So if you look in the back, we've got an I, a G, an S. And for the purpose of this video, we're not going to pay attention to the L. That's just for your light. We're just going to focus on how to install this, uh, for example, on OMC. So G is going to be your ground. And if you watch my uh, trim sender diagnosis video for OMC Cobra, there is a difference between the ground side of the trim sender. And um, so just remember that when you're uh, plugging this in, you may have uh, your up and down backwards if you have those backwards as well. So. First thing you're going to want to do is hook up your trim sender um, cables to it and that'll be the first thing I do. Just make sure you get the, the ground on this side and then the S is going to be this, the other side of your sender. So I'm going to go ahead and connect those. Okay, and you can see here I've got the cable set up where the ground is this wire. I know they're both red so it's kind of deceiving but I put the, the black cable right there just so the viewers here didn't get um, confused. But yeah, that's that's the ground side of your uh, sender and then this is the other part of the sender. So that's, uh, that's how you get the sender piece hooked up, but you also have to have a positive, right? That's what this side is, or, or your eye side. Eye side is positive. And then keep all your grounds in one spot that's in your center uh, spot right there. And I'll go ahead and hook that up next. Okay, and you can see here I've got an alligator clip. This is just, you know, temporarily set up. I've got the alligator clip on the center uh, pole there, and that's going to be the ground. The next part that you're going to need to be careful about is when you're hooking up your positive lead. Obviously, you don't want those two to touch, otherwise you're going to have some issues there. So uh, take some time and put some um, electrical vinyl tape around this so you don't accidentally short it out. Okay. So I've got some vinyl tape around it here. Okay. And that, remember positive, just so everyone doesn't forget here, the positive goes on the um, eye side right there. So all your, your grounds are in the middle. All right. And it looks kind of convoluted now, but if you've been paying attention with the video, it should be pretty easy to follow. So right now we're in the full up position. I'm going to have... Uh, my partner in the back, uh, lower it down all the way. Okay, so she's going to go ahead and move it in the full down position. Alright, and then full up position. And back down. Alright everybody, so you see that's how it works. Uh, pretty easy, right? We'll just go back here one more time. Your eye is going to be where your positive lead goes. And just remember, if, if everything is backwards uh, when you're doing it, you may have um, some of these sender cables messed up. I just took the um, positive and negative off so you could see a little bit more. But yeah, try to keep your, your ground in the center. And then your positive is on the post labeled I. All right. And then as long as you do that, you'll be in good shape. This is the uh, basic uh, wiring process for the OMC Cobra and Volvo Penta. If you're using Evinrude or Johnson, it's going to be a little bit different, but this is how you do it with, the, uh, with those two brands. So I hope this helped out. If you all have any further questions, concerns, feel free to leave a comment below. As always, don't forget to subscribe and have a good one.